Hey besties, it's your girl Kathyn. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a couple of days since I've actually filmed anything, but nevertheless, I have still been shopping. I've been going to many stores. So we're going to be doing a shop with me and it's going to be a collective shop with me because I've been going to different stores within different days. You know, as a girl, as a woman who is perspiring higher education, she's getting her master's, school, internship, and then also YouTube. Boo, we, we got to manage our time and I have not been doing that very well lately, but let's go ahead and go into the store. We're going to be going to Ross, Walmart. What else is there? KJ's, which is a new store in South Carolina. It's like a more of like a local grocery store. I'm so excited for you guys to come with me shopping. So let's go on ahead and get started. Let's go right now. So I've been noticing that these Olay products have been so popular now and they're like running out. The watermelon, she's gone now. <laughs> so um, I'm just saying now, PSA, get them while you can. I feel like I'm going to regret not getting them because I'm not going to get them today, but um, now I want the watermelon now because it's all gone. But the mango one is catching my eye and the strawberry mint one's catching my eye too. And this one's almost out. Oh, this is the last one. Should I get it just to get it? I don't want to be that kind of person just to get it. You know, I'm not going to need 10,000 shower gels, so I'll put that back. A lot of people talk about this one as well. Oh, it's four dollars though, which is not a bad deal, guys. It's not a bad deal at all, but I need to save a little bit of money. I'm kind of done with my money nowadays. Look at Harry's. Harry's is cute. Since when did they have these little different fusy thingies? So cute. Well, all right. Let's see what's. Let's see what I'm trying to find if it's here. So they have all this new stuff here, which is really cool. They like totally redid the display. They have some like new scents out by the way for body ecology we'll get to there really quickly though i was actually trying to find the tree hut scrubs but they're not even i don't even know where they put them so we're gonna figure this out together but this is a new brand find your happy place this is a shower gel and i think they only sell like shower gels candles and lotions okay yeah and there's some hand wash as well and they have little mani thingies right here, the little hand sanitizers. And they also have little hand lotions as well. This is so cool. But if you're in the market for just like a very cute sparkly shower gel, these retail like $7. That's kind of cool though. I like this one a lot. This is so pretty. Oh, also, if you're asking why I sound like this, I just woke up and I've been working on a paper for the last three days. Yeah. Oh, they also have a fine fragrance <laughs> mist as well and bath salts. I don't know how I feel about this. This one right here is $7. I wish the bottle could be a little bit better. Come on. And they have some bath bombs too. This right here is a whipped scrub. Wow. So I'm really excited for people to try this brand out because this is new. And this is new here too. This is Picnic Breeze. The color, can I say, is so pretty. This is Luscious Fruits and Inviting Wildflowers. I want to get the fragrance mist in this. But I heard the um, bubble bath is really good too. This is new as well, watermelon splash. I think I'm gonna grab it. I think I'm gonna grab it because I see I saw a lot of people on TikTok get this as well. And they have Island Beach Paradise. Hello. What does this one smell like? This is coconut and sea breeze. And then let's see what else is new from Body Ecology. Let's see. The cucumber melons back. A lot of people are big fans. Oops, a lot of people are big fans of this one. And then it's just like the regular stuff as well. So yeah, I think those are the new scents for this uh, summer. And now they have Soap and Glory now. When did they have Soap and Glory at my store? Have they always had Soap and Glory? Not too sure. But a lot of you guys talk about Soap and Glory and you guys want me to try their products. So please let me know down below what like their best product is because there's just so many to choose from. The prices are kind of steep though for me. And yeah, this is a new brand, I believe. So that's really cool. Let's go to KJ's and see if they have anything. This is local. This is a new place that just came in. So let's see if they have any body care. Okay guys, I'm now in my local grocery store. This is called KJ's. They just recently opened and they have so many closeout items that they're selling for very low price. For example, like this right here, this is $7.49 here. I don't know why it's $7.49 for this Nivea thing. I don't know, they like 
overreached the prices. Let me show you guys in a little bit, but it's only $3.75 here, which I think that's a really good deal if you want to try like Nivea products right here. Look at this. This St. Ives body lotion is $2.75. It's a close up because I think they are doing a new brand look. I think. They look the same right here. So I don't know if this is going to be $2.75 as well because I'd rather have this packaging. It's so pretty though. Like I have like my cart filled to the brim with all of these deals. And they also have the St. Ives Coconut and Orchid for $2.75. And I think this is such a great time to try it out, you know? Especially with products that are like closing out of the store. They're just trying to get rid of it. For a really good deal, I don't see what's the problem, okay? Let me show you guys a couple of other stickers that are like that. So this right here is the Jergens Smoothing Avocado, $3.75. They have the Shea Butter one as well. And they have Soothing Aloe and Ultra Healing on sale too. They also have the Cocoa Butter Palmer's brand coming on sale as well. A lot of skincare item tags. I will go a little bit slow for you guys, but I don't want to go too specific and talk about these things. But this right here, the Micellar Facial Gel Wash is $3.50 here. First off, the price is a bit of a reach. $10.49 for Dove Body Wash. You can get this for like $5 at Walmart. So I don't know why they have like these super high price deals okay like i don't understand why and they also have very inexpensive like clothes at like 280 for like these eight pack of ivory soaps that's amazing and you guys i'm just looking at this now coconut milk dial soap for 115 gonna have to snag them all jenna just got off an internship guys and i'm never at this area so let's go and see what they have yes big lots I'm so excited. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Walk. Okay, so Big Lots has the loudest music ever, but they have Skin Timid for $1.75. That's very cheap. Love that for her. They have some razors here. Pure Silk right here. Oh my goodness. They have some more Skin Timid, but it's $3. I want to try that one, but I don't want to spend $3. <laughs> Let's see, they have some bank energy. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna start from here. I have not looked at this aisle, of course. They have $4 soft soap and Olay. They have it for $5.25 here. And you can save money here if you wanna see that. And the retail price is $7.50 for Olay, $5.25. It just feels like it's the same price, you know? <laughs> it's like the same price. And they have the Dove cream bars here, but I think you can get a cheaper deer at Ollie's. But $3.90 is not too bad for a four pack. They have the pink one, the beauty cream bar, the shea butter one. These are a dollar. That's great. So loud here. Wow. They have Yardley as well. And the oatmeal and almond four bars for $3.30. Caress Daily Silk, $2.75. Very great deal. And then they have some ivory soap as well. Iris Spring, you know the deal. And they also have some Olay for $5. Now, I don't think that's a bad idea, bad deal, right? But look at this, you guys, $5 for this Olay Cooling White Strawberry. This looks really enticing because I've never seen this before. And I don't think I ever owned a strawberry. Oh, this is the strawberry mint one. Oh, is that a good deal? I don't know. But they also have the Zest Cocoa Butter and Shea ones. These look really interesting, but I have so much soap already. Oh, oh it sucks, it sucks. They have this Hydra Bliss, the coconut water and cucumber water and mint, coconut water and blueberry fragrance. Not much, you guys. Not much. They have a lot more Dr. Teals right here. Wow. They have shea butter and almond oil. What is this? That looks very interesting. I've never seen this scent before from Dr. Teals. They have a lot from here. Wow. Like everything is probably like five dollars i think that's crazy you guys and then over here we have some more products we got some chapsticks love that for her and then there's just some medicine and also deodorant but this tropical paradise deodorant looks so fun and there's some lotion as well this is the St. Ives Renewing Body Lotion for $4.80. That's actually a good deal. And they have some Nivea, $5.70. Not a lot of things here, you guys. Hmm, kind of disappointed, actually. Okay, we're going across now. Okay, guys, they have some bar soap here. 
watermelon bar soap. How much are you? $3.99. And they also have all these like fragrance mist as well. This one looks really pretty with a little bulb. <laughs> they have a variety. I'm not gonna go too specific on them. And then here's the body care. Hmm, where should we start? <laughs> we have the salt scrub, which is $4.99. Very hefty, super heavy. This is a lavender and honey body oil. Hmm, micellar water. This is really great. If you can get this at Ollie's, they have it for cheaper, but this is a really nice quality wet skin lotion. Really feels like you're putting lotion on. And then they also have the Maui Moisture Body Care Volcanic Ash Body Scrub. I saw this at Ollie's as well for a cheaper price if you have that near you. And then they have a lot of these stuff. Her Sprint Sense, $4.49, and this pear one. Here is a Are You Ready to Chill with Mint Nivea Lotion Light Moisturizer. They also have it in strawberry, or is this raspberry? Berry Blossom. Nice, this is cool. They have a massage cream from Palmer's. This is $3.99, not a bad deal at all. And the, this is the Light Hydro Body Lotion, $3.99. That's actually a really good deal. Hmm, that's actually really interesting. And then they also have the Dove Silky Nourishment Body Creams. I heard so many good things about this. I don't know how much, oh, it's $3.99, not too bad. And then look behind here, they have the St. Eyes Hydrating Vitamin E and Avocado Body Lotion. It's $6 here. Usually St. Ives lotions are a lot cheaper. I'm, I, I believe so, if I can remember. But yeah, that's there. And they also have this right here. This is Philosophy 699 Body Lotion. They have the Vaseline Intense Advanced Care. If you're curious about the price, it is $3.99. And they also have the Acai Blueberry and Chia Seed Oil Body Lotion from St. Ives. Now this is something that I think is worth it. This is actually only $4.99. Wow, that looks really cool. Oh, $3.99 Vanilla Body Wash from St. Ives. I've never seen this before. Let me know if you guys have ever used this. It's okay, we're back. Let's see the, um, <laughs> one, two bags, three bags, four bags. Oh my goodness, what's this? Oh, it's, that's what it is, four. Let me duck, let me, let me duck a little bit. Five, six, seven, is this seven bags? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. So a couple of stores later and seven shopping bags later, yeah yeah i know i know a lot of people say that retail therapy is a sin well look at me i'm sinning like every day so let's go ahead and get started with what i got well, we're gonna start with walmart first and i couldn't fit this in a bag i needed to get an accordion folder to put my receipts in because i have been shopping a lot and i just kind of need to remind myself this is how much you spent. <laughs> so my boyfriend actually put all like the months in there so you guys can see some receipts. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. And this isn't even half the receipts. I have like a whole pile over there, which I need to do. But organization, Catherine. Yes, boo. Okay, we're thriving here. We're going to try to make our life a little bit easier, a little bit manageable. I got two of the Tree Hut watermelon scrubs, like little black specks in there. And this is what it looks like right here. I, I got two of them just because I know my sister, she loves watermelon lemonade from Bath and Body Works. And I feel like if she ever comes over, she can use it. And my favorite thing about buying them in the store, I know some people love it when like it gets messy, but I love it when it looks clean like this because I just hate having to scoop it. I know it's so weird because I'm like, you're already going to do that, but I like it when it looks like neat and clean. And you guys, this literally smells like a pureed watermelon. It almost smells like a Jolly Rancher, but it also smells like an authentic watermelon. This is going to be really fun, especially during like the spring and summer times, especially when I want to smell like a watermelon and not, I'm not going to lie, melon scents are not my favorite just because they smell bad on me. But with this body scrub, I definitely think that I can take it and it just looks so pretty. So long story short, my sister lives in a different area than I am and I was just browsing the Walmart app and I was just, you know, putting the zip code in where she lives because it's my hometown. Of course, I know the zip code and I saw more of the tree hut scrubs 
gloves that weren't available in my area and that was in her area and I had begged her so much to go to Walmart and to pick up the new tree hut scrubs that were arriving in different Walmarts. Now depending on your area you might find them, you might not find them, you might not see them at all because they're sold out because tree hut scrubs are so hard to come by you guys like you have to get them like instantly if you need to get two get two and if you d decide to not like it in the beginning just return both of them or just the other one <laughs> because here's the thing oh my goodness tree hut scrubs are a hot commodity nowadays so do you know what i did i begged my sister she went to like three different walmarts to do this so she's the goat okay she's the goat i got more tree hut scrubs you guys but the first one that i ended up getting bohemian escape and this one is the turmeric one i've seen this one around and i never really was interested in it but because i just want to start collecting them now I'm, I don't mind. It's a nice orange color. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I love collecting things. This one smells like a nice spa. Um, there's nothing really too special about it, but I do want to try it out for myself and see if I actually do like it. It has like a bit of like a musky note to it. The next one that I got was a release that they did in the winter, and I actually wanted to get this so bad. So this one is pink champagne. Oh my goodness, you guys. I've heard so much about this and that it smells like champagne toast. This one's a little messy, but... It's like a cleary, pinky, nude color. Hmm. This smells a little bit more fruity than Champagne Toast, which I have right here. This one is a little bit more of like a, like a peachy note into it rather than like a Champagne Fizzy note. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try it out though, but a lot of people said that this goes well with Champagne Toast. I can see why it is, so I ended up getting that one. I also got Papaya Paradise. This is one of the newer scents and I got two of these actually and I heard this one's like super good from Cameron and Sam like they told me that they smell really good yeah this smells super fruity this smells like a peach ring that's what it smells like it smells so good I hate the sound of the gradiness though but I ended up getting that and this is the tree hut sugared fantasy Samantha said that this smells like a blue icy but to me I've actually really already smelled it okay not gonna lie to you guys not gonna lie but oh, I hate it when it's like that Ugh. Ugh, now my hands are sticky I should have done this last, but it's it gives me like a perfumey type of scent. I don't really smell the blue slushy, but, but I have heard that this scent is a lot stronger in the shower because I can barely smell it right now. But I get like a perfumey scent out of it, which is very interesting. So I'll give you guys an update when I do a hydrant review part two. Next up, I ended up getting two of the Bodycology New Mist. And a lot of you guys keep asking me like an update about how I feel about Bodycology. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, they don't really last as long. They last as long as a pink uh, fragrance mist. That's what it reminds me of. So if you like the pink fragrance mist, then you guys are going to obviously like the body collagen ones. They don't last as long as Bath & Body Works, but they're still really good. So the first one I ended up getting was the Watermelon Splash. Oh my goodness. And you guys, this legit smells like a Sour Patch Kid. It smells so good, okay? Like it's not like Watermelon Lemonade. Watermelon Lemonade is like a different breed of itself, but... This one has like watermelon, Jolly Rancher, Sour Patch Kid vibes. This one's really fun. Okay, this is gonna be super fun for the summer. And I also ended up getting the Island Beach Paradise one. This one is coconut, sea breeze, and tropical fruit. This one's nice, okay? This gives me like Belize or Oahu Coconut Sunset type of vibes. This is very summery. I definitely think this is gonna be very fun to just have on for like the first layer if you want to like spice things up. So I ended up getting these and they also have this blue one. It's called Picnic Breeze, but I can't find the fragrance mist in that. And I sniffed it at the store and it smells like gingham. That's what it smells like to me. So let me know if you have Picnic Breeze from Bodycology because I really want to get it just to have it in my collection. And yeah, overall, I love Bodycology. There, there's nothing wrong with spending four or five dollars for these type of mists because they're really good, you guys. Like, don't downplay fragrance mists. They're bomb, okay? So a couple days later, I went to go actually get my COVID shot, which is really great. And I needed to pick up some things, like some essentials, I guess. And I was just browsing the hygiene because it's right next to the pharmacy, of course. And I got some petroleum jelly. I got that off brand because I'm cheap. This is like two dollars in the formula immaculate okay it's so much better than the equate version of the aquaphor so if you have very uh dry lips like me i have perioral dermatitis get you a tub of some vas off-brand vaseline okay this stuff is amazing i just 
I just love it and I also heard that people use this on their wrist and like right here to make their scent last longer and I'm definitely gonna have to do an updated video of how to make your scent last longer as well as how to use up your products because they go hand in hand for me because if you don't know I go through a lot of body products so I have that for my lips and then I also got this because I had never seen this at my Walmarts before because I was at a grocery Walmart it's like one of those smaller Walmarts and this is the baby dove hypoallergenic wash and this is for sensitive skincare a lot of my YouTube friends talk about this and I just want to give this a try I think Cameron actually recently got this as well so I'm going to see what the hype is about and try it out and let you guys know how it goes <laughs> So I ended up going to Ross as well because I was out on my internship early and I was in an area where I'm never in that Ross so you guys saw like a different type of Ross but I had to hold myself back because it was really hard to not get the St. Ives lotions that you guys saw. So I just got one thing and I got the St. Ives Pampering Vanilla Body Wash and I'm actually really excited because I've never tried a St. Ives body wash before and this was only $3.99 by the way. Ooh. I've actually never seen this in like Walmarts or anything because they normally have like a cylinder body wash bottle now. I think they just like updated it. But let me know if you guys have tried uh, St. Ives body washes and if you like them or not because this is my first time trying them. So I have like high hopes because they're like a pretty affordable deal if I'm not mistaken. They're pretty good. I also went to Walgreens. Yeah, I recently hauled a Caress bar soap that I love that I got at Family Dollar and it's the Brazilian coconut milk one and I was like, oh my goodness, this smells so good and one of you guys have actually told me that they have it in a body wash on the website so I checked the website, I was like, oh my goodness and Caress actually has a store locator on the website so you can like put in your zip code and see if it's like available in your area so I did that and I found it, you guys I found it I got the Caress Brazilian gardenia and coconut milk body wash this is a exclusive to walgreens so if you go to your walgreens right now or you probably have to like call in and ask because there's lots of walgreens around my area so it would kind of suck if you like went and you didn't find it but i they only had two left and i was that person yeah i know there's like five dollars there. they're like five dollars and fifty cents for like this so it's a lot a little bit more expensive than like your normal caress prices because caress is like four dollars but i got two of them because i Ah, I love Caress body washes, okay? And I feel like Caress is finally getting like the hype that they deserve now because a lot of people just didn't really talk about Caress like a long time ago, but Caress is bae, okay? This smells so good. This smells like a laundry coconut scent. I definitely think if you love laundry clean scents, you are going to love this. I'm so excited, you guys. All right, and lastly, I ended up going to KJ's, which you guys saw, and I actually looked up what KJ's was because it was like a new store that popped up into my area, and I actually found out that this grocery store is only available in South Carolina, which is where I live, so I just would suggest for you guys to find a grocery store that is only local to your state and see if they have closed markdowns because this is what happened to mine, and I got so many deals. I actually put my receipt into the... Um, according folder but i will tell you guys i did not pay for full price for any of these items they were like dirt cheap you guys they were like two to three dollars so bless 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 the first thing that i got was the suave skin solutions silkening lotion and i've never tried suave lotions before but this was like less than two dollars so i was just like why not so this has a very clean almost baby-like smell. I definitely think if you do not like anything strong, you are going to like this. I think this will pair very well with florals, not going to lie. So I ended up getting that, and then I also got some soap. This is the Olay Age Defying Vitamin E Beauty Bar, and these were like super cheap. As I saw that this was like on a closed markdown, like they weren't going to sell them anymore, I wanted to get this one and then also the other one, but my boyfriend was like, okay, maybe just pick one because you have a lot of bar soap in your little cubicle, and I'm staring at it right now. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I'll just pick one, and I honestly just wanted to see how the Olay Body Bars work and if they are like worth the purchase so this one's super random this is the suave kids three in one shampoo conditioner and body wash and this is watermelon wonder i honestly got this just for shiz and giggles that's that's honestly the main reason but it is like pink Ooh, i honestly got this for my boyfriend because he likes watermelon scented things Ooh, this smells so fun but i just wanted to see how suave kids products were because Everyone always talks about baby products and everyone always talks about like adult products But no one ever no one literally ever talks about kids products and I really want to try them and see if there's like 
anything good okay like that's that's the tea right there i got this busted skin oil but it was like five dollars and normally these are like super expensive this is the palmer's cocoa butter formula skin therapy oil i was like this close to putting it back but i didn't end up doing it and this helps improve the appearance of scars stretch marks dry damaged skin uneven skin tone and aging skin we'll see about that so i got this thing yay oh it's like a oh, it's like a little pump like a little serum but oil. I'm actually really excited to try this out. I'll let you guys know if it does anything because Palmer's is known for like their stretch mark formula and how a lot of people use it and then like have really nice improvement with stretch marks. But I just really wanted to get like a body oil because I love body oils. I love my Equate one that I get at Walmart. It's super cheap. That one's really great, but I really wanted to branch out and try a different product. So having this for $5 was a really good deal for me. And then I also got the Simple Micellar Facial Gel gel wash i can never find this at any other stores other than tj maxx and tj maxx always has them like rare so they had two more of these left but i decided to only get one this is a really nice gentle face wash which i've had before and this is also really good for like dry skin like i have really dry skin like from here to here because of my lip area so yay i got that and then i also got another bar soap this is the dial complete two-in-one moisturizing and antibacterial beauty bar and coconut milk and i've never seen this before have you guys ever seen this coconut milk dial soap before like this is my first time seeing it i wanted to get them all but like i said my boyfriend said only get one pack because this has a two pack i'm gonna let you guys know how i feel about it because i do have one by soft soap which is like a coconut milk one which i haven't tried yet so I'll do like the battle of bar soaps one day. <laughs> okay, so the next two products are hair products and I ended up getting I ended up getting the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Smooth Deep Conditioner with Australian sea kelp. I actually use 3 Minute Miracle in middle school and high school. This was my favorite product to use especially since like this is a very inexpensive item already. So having a product like this and just to feel like you have like a luxury experience made like my childhood a little bit more better just because we didn't have money to buy like $20 deep conditioners. So this was just like amazing in of itself. And then you guys, I was looking around town and they had a lot of hair products and something spot my eye because it reminded me of the Honic OGX Shea Soft and Smooth Lotion, which I have here right now. The color, just think of the color, just think of the scent. If you haven't smelled this yet, it smells like a gourmand cookie. And it's, it smells like frosting. Oh my goodness, if you have the EOS one, this smells very comparable to it. So amazing. And I was like on Amazon one day and I noticed that they actually sold this, but also in a shampoo and conditioner version, but they discontinued it. And I was like, oh shoot, well, someone's hair is probably smelling really bomb right now if they have the shampoo and conditioner of this scent. And guess what? I was so excited. Okay, so I ended up getting the conditioner. This was like the last one left and I didn't know they still sold this. And this was also like the markdown as well. So I'm thinking this was like two or three dollars. I think so. So you guys, I'm so excited. I'm so happy because I found this. This is legit a rare hygiene item and I do know OGX has some problems with like their hair products like they're not that great for you but because it's a conditioner I think I'm just more excited because it's the scent but it smells just like it so my hair's gonna smell like a frosted cookie dough a snack a biz type away you guys I'm so excited for this so I feel like this is just gonna be really great for like those days when I really want to smell like a vanilla cookie or what I really want to smell like a snack. This is gonna be great. I don't even know why they discontinued this scent, honestly. And the last product that I have for you guys is the Saint Eye Softening Body Lotion in Coconut and Orchid. I definitely think that this would be like a really cool scent to pair with like the Caress Coconut Gardenia, uh, Brazilian Gardenia and Coconut, so just cause it's the same. And I've never tried Saint Ives lotions before, so. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be super good for like summer, especially for people who do not like super strong coconut scents. I definitely don't think this is like an intense coconut, but this one's just like nice and light and not too overpowering. I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel about the formula as well. So stay tuned for that in the future when I do end up using this. But yeah, you guys, that was basically it. I have a lot of cleaning up to do because of everything I just jumbled around me. I hope you guys enjoyed this shop with me and haul video. And thank you guys for always supporting me, enjoying my uh, awkward personality. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.